Hey everyone, it is Miranda and I am back with my second sneak peek from Bella Art Diamonds. You guys, I'm telling you, it is getting closer and closer. Two more days until these kits are released. Um, I hope everyone is doing well and welcome to the channel if you're new and if you've been back before, thank you so much for coming out. Um, and there is something special that Jamie and Nicole are throwing in this time a bit of a giveaway and if you missed my previous unboxing from yesterday I will go ahead and link that down below for you and I'll go over the details real quick just in case you are just popping in for the first time and didn't see my other video but these kits will be released oh this kit along with like 33 others kits will be released on or 34 other kits on March 2nd at 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time and they want to do a giveaway yes they do um so once these kits are released they are going to put a google doc or google form up and your job is to go and collect all of the keywords that you find in all of the sneak peek team's videos so you're going to have to watch all the sneak peek videos to get all these keywords and then you will have a week to do so and then get it submitted. And on March 9th at 1.30 p.m. during their live, this is Mountain Standard Time, they will be announcing a winner. And that winner, whether they are local within the United States or international, everybody is included in this one, will receive a free kit. And let me tell you, you don't want to miss out on this because they have so many great kits. So thank you so much, Jamie and Nicole, for sending this out to me. I will be bringing one of these with me this weekend to work on. And yeah, I'm really, really excited because trust, my wish list is growing as well. So let's get into it, you guys. So this is the amazing box. I absolutely love it. Right on the front, enhancing your diamond painting experience. That is their slogan right here. We've got our butterfly. Bella Art Diamonds, geometric on the side, directions on the back, um, kind of some stats about it, licensed artwork, um, hand rendered, um, clear symbols, things of that nature. But let's get into it. And what do I have today? Oh, I have the wrong kit with me. Oh my goodness, I just showed that one. Where is my other one? Here it is, oh my goodness. I was about to show the same ding ding kit I did yesterday. Anyway, this is Haunted House from Mark Hadley. Right there, there's the little thumbnail. All of their kits have this thumbnail sticker on the back of the box. So you can easily identify your kits. This is the first image that I have from Mark Hadley. And let me see, it's a 50 centimeter by 67 centimeter square drill kit. So let's get into it. Um, one of my amazing uh, subscribers told me, said it perfectly because you guys know I'm about that spookiness. You know, I'm Halloween all year round. She said Halloween is a lifestyle, not a holiday. Agreed. So with every single kit, you will get a Bella essential tray. These kits are, these trays are absolutely amazing. I love them. I'm growing my little collection. On the outside of your kit, your kit will have the kit number and it comes in a thick um, dust bag to keep all of the grimy grannies, your hair, pet hair, children's fingerprints, you name it, off of your diamond painting until you are ready to work on it. And then even afterwards, right? So it is a soft back canvas. We have our scalped and poked edges right here. We're going to unroll this and let it rest. These kits rest very, very quickly. Um, Bella and Jamie, or Bella and Jamie, Nicole and Jamie have been doing such an amazing job keeping these kits, like not having them all be ginormous. So this one is a little bit bigger than the other one, but it's still a very manageable size. This is really like my favorite size. So um, real quick, I already went over the toolkit, but you get wax, a pen, a squishy, some sharp pointy treat tweezers, um, some multi-placers, and I'm trying to get in here because I want to see the washi tape, and guys, yeah, I've had a rough day at work, so my hands are, like, really sore right now. 
I'm just gonna dump everything out. There. Oh my God, they're feathers. Really, really pretty, like watercolor on there. Really, really nice. So I definitely love that. And put this up out of the way. So let's take a look at our sticker sheet. Look at that, you guys. Haunted House, licensed from Mark Hadley. It's got the dimensions. We have 48 colors, so not bad at all. Um, I'm usually not a landscape person, but if it's anything like this, I am all about it. I'm loving the moon, the house. It looks like there's a ghost outside. And we have, oh my, one, two, three, four, five ABs in this one, you guys. So we have all of our... Uh, numbers into letters and then the remaining ones are symbols nothing confusing pretty straightforward especially with our ab's we have a 208 which is an anchor 318 which looks like a little pill uh question mark for 602 741 which is the female symbol i think and then we've got this one that kind of looks like um a three-leaf clover so two different oranges. So these stickers are great for your journals if you keep one or scrapbook or whatever you would like to do. Here are our drills. Again, this is a square drill kit. These have got some great colors in here. Um, so it's not all dark. We've got purples and blues. And then we have our ABs right here. These are all kept in order. They're nice and neat. Um, I am only going to pull out the ABs to show you guys, but these are gorgeous drills right here. So are we ready to see this image? Because I know I am. All right, let us flip it over. Oh my, this is nice. Oh, it's a blurry, let me back out, let me back out. There we go, there we go. I don't know what was going on, but you guys, this is nice. Let me see if I can zoom in. There, that is a lot better. I don't know why it got so blurry. I am just going to pull back on the plastic cover to try to get it to rest a little bit. You know, it's been rolled up all the way overseas and until I just unboxed it. Very nice, thick cover right here. So up at the top, it says, share your love for Bella Art Diamonds on social media. And it's got their hashtag Bella Art Diamonds. Um, it's got their logo up at the top along with their websites. However, I do believe that it is transitioning back over just to um, be Bella Art de Nicole instead of just having two separate websites, I believe, but don't quote me. So I'm just pulling this back because there was a little ripple that just had to get, it wasn't, nothing wrong with the canvas. I just had to smooth it down. All right, so there we go. What is underneath there? Please don't tell me a cat hair got under there. No, it's just in the plastic. All right, so you can see right here we have a legend. Well, there's a legend over here, but it's upside down. But really, it's not. Because if we flip our canvas like this, you will see that it is, again, to your left in case you flip your canvas over. Now, I flip my canvas over and move it all the way around. So what I am loving, besides the fact that this is Halloween, right? What I am loving about this is there is way more color blocking and there's line blocking than I thought. Sorry about that, Lucifer just fell in his dish and he's flicking the food out. I forgot to tell you, at the bottom there is a thumbnail and the name of the piece showing it is legally licensed. And again, the size. So a 50 by 67, this is a great manageable size. Um, the house has got a lot of line blocking, meaning that you can use our multi-placer and just goes in lines. We do have some confetti in these windows and we have our spooky ghoul out here. Kind of giving me a lot of Yorona vibes. Um, we have all this in the moon and then this great blue grayish sky, but a lot of color blocking. And we do have some line blocking up in these trees over here. But overall, the difficulty level doesn't seem too much. And I think it's a nice kind of blend between color blocking and confetti. I'm also really... Um, impressed with the size and the detail because normally when you've got something with a lot of detail it tends to go very very big but 
Jamie and Nicole work very hard um, at keeping these manageable sizes, but still having a great focal point where you can see and not having stuff be blurry or pixelated. Plus being square drill, it does really, really help out. So um, our white AB, our white is not an AB, but you are more than welcome to add more ABs if you'd like. Sometimes less is more. I am just, I tend to just um, do it how it's charted. However, this is really off way the 3865. I, if I have any, I might put that up in the moon because I think that would look really, really good. Um, so what do you guys think of this piece off top of your head? I'm going to back out so you guys kind of get more of a full view of it. The symbol clarity is really, really, really good. Very clear symbols, dark, dark on light background, light on darker background. So I really do enjoy that. I'm going to zoom back in. So keyword, the keyword, because we've got this ghost right here is going to be ghastly. Ghastly is the keyword for this video. So make sure you write that down on your form so you can get entered in for the kits. The, well, the chance to enter a, the chance to enter to get a free kit. Ghastly. All right. So I'm going to flip this over. We are going to take a peek at these ABs and then we are going to find out where they go on the canvas. So excuse the crinkling. All right, so nice and neat. I'll give you another kind of peek in here. If you can see, well, at the, at the top, these great colors right here. So I am going to grab them and they're right all together. So that's nice too. All right, so we have 208 right here, that really nice purple. These ABs are so shiny and such great quality. 318, I'm loving this. The gray AB is growing to be one of my favorites. 602, we have a little bit. That's more of that pinky red. And then we have a little bit of 741 and 742. So two different shades of orange on there. So I think that's going to look really, not really nice. Um, and all of the bags do have the DMC as well as the number to reference to your uh, legend over on the side. So what I do is I also put the sticker on there so that way I can see the symbol as well. So kind of like this, I'll just do the ABs right now. So even though it has it on there, I wanna see what the symbol is because sometimes it's easier for me to visualize. So I just kind of stick it up at the top like this, so I can see both of them. And these labels are really, really great. Get the red, reddish pink one right here. And then the gray, oh, good, they came out together. So we have the purple and then the gray. Voila, so just like that. But you can do it, you can put it on a container. If you want, you can do whatever you want. I'm just kind of giving you an example of like what I do with it because I don't want to waste these stickers and it helps me identify the bag easier because I am team baggy all the way. All right, so drills are going up, legends going up and let's check this out. All right, so I'm just gonna call them as I see them, so that way I am not wasting a lot of time. So we have some AB right in the lights. And then we have some of that pink in the background. What is the gray? The gray is that pill, where's the gray? Oh, it's a decent amount too, so I don't know why I can't find it. That's a diamond. I thought it might be in the sky, but it's not. Hmm. 
We have some purple AB in our ghoul, our ghost right here as well. If you guys, oh, here it is, down in here. So I think that AB might be kind of representing like some fog at the bottom. I do like the crow, the bats and the, the crows up in the sky and I'm loving the cloud coverage over the moon as well. Um, so pretty much they're sprinkled. I do believe that the purple AB is also going to be up here. I need a, um, a light pad personally um, to help me out. So um, you guys might not need it if you see it. So here we go, you guys. This is Haunted House by Mark Hadley. It is a 60 by, 50 by 67 centimeter square diamond painting with five ABs, you guys. This will be available along with all the other kits on Saturday at 5, what did I say? When did I say? 5, 5.30 Mountain Standard Time. It will be announced. Um, go check it out and let me know what you think. So until next time, my friends, I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.